another video. Now let's get into today's topic of discussion. It's finishing up my cigar on this nice day, day here in Pennsylvania. Uh, today's topic will be Rhonda getting back into the mechanical wristwatch game. You say, they are? Yeah, Rhonda has been out of the mechanical game for the last 30 years or so. But they're going to be selling their new movement, the R150, uh, I think the end of this year, the beginning of next year. And what's nice about this particular movement, it is interchangeable with the ETA 2824, which is nice. Obviously, everybody out there knows there might be some uh, parts issues coming uh, up shortly by, you know, year 2020 when ETA's, you know, not going to be selling parts to every Tom, Dick, and Harry. So, it's interesting in the fact that these parts are interchangeable. So, if you do have a problem with your ETA 2824, you can get this Swiss Ronda movement and you can use the parts from it. But the other thing is, and this is the big kicker, that the movement's only going to cost 60 Swiss francs 60 swiss francs that is it and they are charging the same as what etta is charging for that particular movement so they can be competitive which i find funny because you know rolex is putting a 2824 in their watch is the uh tudor line and then they're charging you three four five thousand dollars and they only paid sixty dollars for the movement which i find funny but those people that are concerned you know about the parts issues and how it can affect people you do have another option here. Rhonda's coming at back, you know, out from uh, the grave, and they're getting back into the uh, new movements uh, with the R150. This is going to be their first mechanical movement, and I think they plan on making more, but they're going to be doing a ramping up stage. Uh, when they produce them, uh, what they're going to be doing is they're going to be selling tens of thousands, but by the time the ETA cuts off their movements, which they can at the end of 2020, they plan on being able to produce tens of thousands of watch movements. So for those of you that are worried, they're, they're on their game. It's a, a clone of a 2824 like a lot of people are doing. And those people out there that bash ETA, just remember, all these companies are copying ETA movements. So that should tell you how good they are. It's uh, Salida copies the ETA movement. Ronda is now copying the end of movement, but they're making interchangeable parts, so that could be interesting, but, you know, it can cause some problems, depending upon if you're a purist or not. You go to take your watch in, they can't get parts for it, but they can get these Ronda parts, they can interchange it. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be original ETA. Some people might have a problem with that, and other people might say, hey, fine, for $60 for a movement, you know, I'll go ahead and do that, and that's not bad now. I think this is a good thing, uh, you know, it should keep people in the watch game that want to stay in there because there's a lot of micro brands that rely on ETA and once they decide to cut the third party people off, these guys would pretty much be out of business. So you got Ronda in the game, you got Salida in the game, and hopefully this will continue to help the watch industry grow. Once again, this is StyleCon. Uh, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. If you have any questions or comments, as usual, leave them down below. If you like the content, come on, come on, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will check you out in the next video.